What's up, what's up, you guys? Today we're doing a quick and easy, cheesy, homemade, from scratch, chicken carbonara. Look, oof, let's get on into it. So all of the ingredients are pretty easy. You're gonna need some heavy whipping cream, flour. You're gonna need some shredded Parmesan cheese, some bacon, some Italian parsley, garlic, onion, bow tie noodles, some chicken broth, some seasonings, but let's get on into it and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need along the way. First, we're gonna go ahead and get started with bacon. I'm using one whole pack of bacon. Probably could have even went up to two packs because I made a big pot of this, but just eyeball it, y'all. That's what we do, we eyeball everything, okay? So based on your family size and how big a pot you're making, you know, you might only need a few strips of bacon or you might need a whole pack or you might need two packs. Just use your best judgment. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pull out three to four very large, oversized chicken breasts that I got, boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I got from Walmart. Now, these are not my first choice because they come with a lot of extra fat and all this other stuff that I'm, you see me trimming off here. Um, and they're super thick and I tend to like mine, of, of course, thinly sliced. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get all of the stuff off, trim it down how I need it to be or like it to be. And then I'm just going to go ahead and have these. So it looks like three large chicken breasts, but it's really going to end up being about six to seven um, or six to eight because I think I added another one in at the end of this. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, trim them up, cut them in half and dice them. All right, y'all. So here comes the part of the video where I wish they had smell of vision so you can smell this bacon through the screen. Mm, I just love the smell of bacon. It's just one of those things that when you make it, everybody comes running to the kitchen like, hmm, I smell bacon. So yeah, we're going to get this bacon cooked up the whole pack. Again, I bought that shit for your family size, okay? We're going to make a whole pack. It's really just for garnish and to kind of give it that extra mmm when you're making this but yeah so now i'm gonna go ahead and go over to my pot of water i'm gonna add some sea salt to this and then once it gets to a boil um or about there we're gonna go ahead and drop our bow tie pasta in so we can get that all nice and al dente and then we're gonna get started on this sauce now this sauce ooh, i can't wait to show you how do we do this sauce it was so good it's so so easy to make you see that bacon there Yes, it's so hard not to eat that bacon, but you guys know I'm not eating meat. Definitely not eating pork, but mm, love that bacon. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and chop up some garlic, a handful, y'all. I don't have the measurements for you. Why? Because we eyeball everything. So I'm going to say that it's probably about, I don't know, three to four tablespoons of garlic. I'm going to chop it up really, really fine. Then we're going to go ahead and chop up some onion, about half of an onion, get that together and throw it in a pan with that butter. And we're going to start working on this roux for this sauce. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it. By the way, just got in town. And I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky Ruin my vibe and Usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Due to unusual rain and thunder Baby, I wonder Baby, I wonder 
sois en peu tu sois en vie Ça gâte de blog à mes décors pour lui I'm talking late night for ya Let me lay a great time on ya Don't hesitate, no, don't you Just say you will Honey, I wish y'all could smell that garlic hitting that butter. Ooh, yes, baby. All right, we're going to go ahead and season up this diced chicken. I'm going to season it uh, just a little bit with some Cajun season, um, some organic paprika, and some red pepper flake, okay? Because just want a little bit of kick, just a little bit of kick, not too much, because if it's too, too spicy, the kids are not going to really want to deal with it. But I gotta have a little spice, you know what I'm saying? A little flavor, a little heat, and nothing else at the moment, but we will add in more stuff shortly. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this chicken breast in, in batches, because y'all already know it's a lot to add for a big family, and this is not that big of a pan. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit of sea salt. Sometimes I like sea salt over seasoned salt because if I'm going to add a whole bunch of other seasonings, seasoned salt just makes it too much. So sometimes I just go with a regular sea salt. Just a little bit goes a long way. Yes. So we're going to get that all working together. I'm going to add in the rest of that chicken, add in a little bit more seasoning on top of that that I just threw in. And we're going to go ahead and get started on everything else. Water is boiling. It's time to go ahead and throw in the bow tie pasta. You can use whatever pasta you like for this, but I used what I had on hand, which is a good bow, bow tie. I love a good bow tie pasta, y'all. All night. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. By the way, just got in town Then I won't let Cumulus clouds All in the sky Ruin my vibe all right, so now it's time to get working on that roux for the sauce. So I'm gonna use half of a white onion. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in to about two tablespoons of butter on the stove. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle in some flour. Now, you guys, I don't like measurements, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that I added in about three tablespoons of flour and I just kind of sprinkled it in I eyeballed it you're just gonna lightly flour the bottom of that pot so that you can still see the onion but you know it's nice and coated you're gonna nice nicely coat that onion okay you're gonna let that kind of get a little thick but don't have your heat up too high because you don't want to brown it of course okay you don't want to make it dark and burnt but you do want to get it nice and thick Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. By the way, just got in town. Then I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky ruin my vibe. Usually, I don't do this often. But since recruiting isn't an option Due to unusual rain and thunder Baby, I wonder Baby, I wonder 
Okay, so now I have gotten it to about the consistency that I think that I want. And I'm going to add in some chicken bouillon seasoning at the bottom of this pot and kind of mix it into that flour base because it's going to have so much flavor, y'all. Trust me when I tell you. So I'm going to add in a little bit of water. We're going to just go ahead and eyeball that, okay? Just enough to cover the bottom of the pan, a little extra, all right? And then we're going to go ahead and mix that in together with that flour, and onion and chicken bouillon mixture. Now that water was for the chicken bouillon to kind of make a little bit of like a broth, um, like a chicken broth. And as you can see, it's already looking good, already smelling good. Again, I wish you guys could smell it through the screen. Um, and so as you can see, it's already starting to get a little thick, but we're not done yet, baby. We gotta add some more goodness into that. So I'm gonna go ahead and at this point, add in my heavy whipping cream. Now I'm gonna add quite a bit because I'm making a big pot. Again, eyeball it for what you think you're gonna need for your family. The more you, the less you need, the, the less heavy whipping cream you need, obviously. So I bought a small little thing of heavy whipping cream and I just about used all of it. Um, and so just keep mixing it in, letting it simmer a little bit until you get the amount that you need. Um, and so, yeah, I just kept mixing it in slowly. At this point, you would want to whisk slowly, whisk it in. Um, but I could not find my whisk for some reason. Somebody send me your girl a whisk. <laughs> just joking. I'm going to buy some more. But yeah, whisk it in slowly. I'm going to go ahead and add in some Italian seasoning because I just think that it would taste really good with this sort of dish. You can add in whatever you would like or nothing if you don't want to add anything. I'm also going to add in some ground black pepper because I love black pepper and everything and some more of that crushed red pepper flake. Listen, your girl loves a little kick, just a little bit, not too much. And I promise you it's not super overpowering or even super noticeable. The kids didn't even notice I put it in there. Okay. If you're worried about the kids, it's definitely kid approved. If they're really, really picky, you can omit that. It's not going to hurt it, but it just adds a little extra something. So I have it in there and I have everything in there, mixed it all together. And now I'm going to put this on a low to medium heat until it starts simmering just like that, y'all. Mm. As it simmers, it will get thicker. So if it gets a little too thick, add in more cream, add in more water. Um, but if it's, you know, like this, it's still kind of watery. Just keep mixing it every couple of minutes until it gets to that consistency that you want. And you will see the consistency that I am aiming for in just a moment. See, right now it's still real watery. We got to give it some more time. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. By the way, just got in town And I won't let come in this cloud It's all in the sky Okay, so right about now, we're getting there. We are definitely making progress. It's still not really where I want it to be, but it's thick enough for me to go ahead and add in my Parmesan cheese. So go ahead and add that in. I used just about the whole container um, of that. So it's probably about like one cup maybe a little bit more, but probably about one cup of that Parmesan cheese. Go ahead and mix that in slowly. And as you can see, that will also help it to begin to get a little bit more thick. So mix it in and get it nicely incorporated and let that thicken up just a little bit. Usually I don't do this often, but since recruiting, all right, y'all, so while I have that on a low simmer, I'm going to go ahead and chop up the other ingredients that we need. So I have one whole bunch of Italian parsley. We don't need an entire bunch, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get some off of there, like a good little handful, a good little chunk, um, because a little Italian parsley, you know, a little goes a long way. But this recipe definitely does call for it. And I promise you, using the fresh is way better than any dried parsley flakes. So please get fresh Italian parsley. All right, it's going to take it to the next level. And then a few tomatoes, you know, eyeball it, y'all. A few tomatoes diced, okay? Don't you skimp on this fresh 
Don't use canned for these. Don't use canned or dried for this part. It has to be fresh. And I promise you, it's going to take this pasta dish to the next level, okay? Definitely. So chop all of those up, and then we're going to go ahead and get that all incorporated when the time is right. All right, y'all, so now my sauce is nice and thick. I've kicked it down even more, and I'm going to go ahead and add in my diced tomatoes as well as my diced Italian parsley. Oh, my goodness. This smelled so good. And even though it's a very, like, very decadent, very much homemade delicious sauce it literally takes 15 minutes to make it is not something that takes a long time this would be great if you were cooking for your man for the first time oh my gosh talk about impressing okay talk about <laughs> marry me talk about a marry me meal this is it um or your in-laws for the first time somebody you want to impress this is a really really good meal because everybody loves pasta most everybody loves chicken um and all these fresh ingredients just really take it to the next level it's very very impressing so i'm going to go ahead and add in all of our diced chicken breasts oh look at that y'all i'm going to get everything all mixed together right about now our bow tie pasta should be nice and al dente i'm going to get that drained off then I'm gonna go ahead and get everything mixed together and then it's time to plate up. You can serve this with some garlic bread, some cheesy bread, some rolls, you guys, a nice salad salad, just whatever you would normally serve with a really good pasta dish. It, this would pair good with just about anything. Or honestly, you could just eat it by itself. I mean, it's that good. This is a really good fall comfort meal. It definitely checks all of the boxes. Something easy, very, very quick to make. It's something that you can definitely keep in the memory banks for if you need to pull it out for impressing someone or just a good home-cooked comfort meal for the family, you guys. Like, I love this one. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how I plate this up. As you can see, I'm just mixing everything together nice and slow. Did you forget about the bacon? Can't forget about that bacon. So now is the time to go ahead and chop that bacon up. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it down. I mean, whatever size you like is whatever size. You can leave it really big and chunky, or you can chop it down to little bits. I chopped mine down a little bit because I wanted to make sure it was all incorporated through the big pot that I made. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw it on top and plate this bad boy up.
All right, now, mm, look at this, y'all. Plated it up in a bowl. Just added a little bit of Italian parsley for garnish, just to make it look nice and purdy. And it's ready to go. You can sprinkle in a little bit more of that Parmesan on top of it. Serve it with a salad. Serve it with some garlic bread. This meal is a hitter. Like I said, you guys, if you want to pull this one out of the, this trick out of the bag to go ahead and impress, you know, family, friends, your bay whoever this would be a perfect meal for that this is also a really good wholesome filling family meal great for the holidays great for the winter months try it and let me know what you guys think down below in the comments you can do so much with this just a perfect perfect easy from scratch chicken carbonara hit a like or like for your girl because it's what it's free and it don't cost you nothing and i will see you guys in the next one